Welcome to the playoff edition of Football Friday. Round one is upon us as three of our local teams look to advance. We'll start things off with the games from Friday night. In Class 7A, it's Bennett Academy on the road at Maine West, who is making its first playoff appearance since 2002. Despite sophomore Colin Gillespie making his first playoff start, Red Wings with plenty of playoff experience after last year's state semifinal berth. BA already leading 7-0 early in the second quarter when Gillespie flips a screen pass to Ben Cooney who weaves his way 50 yards down into the end zone, 14-0 Bennett. The Red Wings defense has made key plays all year long and Connor Burke comes up with another one. The interception sets up the Bennett offense in great scoring position. Two plays later, Gillespie adds his third touchdown of the first half on a 44-yard run to pay dirt. Red Wings up 21-7 at the break. Into the second half, Bennett puts linebacker Michael Weimer in the backfield, and on his first carry of the season, the junior takes it 65 yards to the house to put the game out of reach. Red Wings win it 35-13, advancing to the second round for the third year in a row. Moving up to Class 8A, Naperville Central returning to the postseason after a one-year absence. The DVC champs hosting former conference rival West Aurora, making its third straight postseason appearance. Peyton Thorne in the playoffs for the first time, showing no signs of nerves. Red Hawks leading 7-0 when the junior signal caller hits Cade McDonald for the deep touchdown and a 14-0 lead. After an A.J. Dinehart touchdown run, Thorne looks for his former Matia teammate Jaden Reed, who hauls it in and goes all the way for a 76-yard touchdown. Two catches for two touchdowns on an efficient night for Jaden Reed, 28-7 Central at halftime. But the Blackhawks showing toughness, cutting into the deficit with a fourth down touchdown pass to Jaquan Buchanan to make it a 28-14 game. After the defense forces a turnover on downs, A.J. Dinehart adds his second touchdown of the game to go with his 158 yards. The Red Hawks put the game away 35-14. A second round matchup with fourth seeded Homewood Flossmoor awaits in round two. Saturday night brings Naperville North South to Oswego High School with the Huskies in search of their first playoff win since 2010 after losing a round one heartbreaker to Lyons Township a year ago. Tough task for North taking on a defense giving up an average of six points per game, but the Huskies show they are a challenge for any defense, taking the opening drive into the end zone for a 7-0 lead with this Brett Strabecki touchdown. North leading 7-6 in the third quarter, Oswego running back Charles Coleman was unstoppable over 150 yards in the first half. He then gives the Panthers a 14-7 lead thanks to this one-yard plunge. Huskies trailing 21-7 early in the fourth. When Drake Davis finds Brett Strabecki for his second touchdown of the game, North right back in it down 21-14. But Charles Coleman was a one-man wrecking crew, over 300 yards in the game, dragging defenders into the end zone from nine yards out, carrying Oswego into the second round with a 28-14 win. Naperville North ends its season at 6-4. Oswego will play at Glenbard West in round two. Looking ahead to the second round playoff schedule, Naperville Central will travel to Homewood Flossmoor in what should be a thrilling matchup between two top 15 teams on Friday night. Bennett Academy will play the number one seed Hananiga on Saturday, but it will be a home game for the Red Wings over at Benedictine. Only two local teams left standing, but Football Friday will carry on for at least one more week. As always, you can see all the highlights on nctv17.com. We'll see you next Saturday for round two. Thanks for watching. I'm Justin Cornwell.